Okay, here we're going to uh, revisit a problem that we did in class today. Uh, this was the example here that um, you have a weak base, you put it in water, and then it uh, produces uh, OH ions here, the pH, 0.1 molar solution, ethyl amine, we given the pKb, and so on. And if you recall uh, the solution there, uh, I will ignore, you just refer to the notes or the online notes here. What you end up with is this equation, 5.63 times 10 to the minus 4th, that's what Kb is equal to, is equal to x squared over uh, 0.10 minus x. Now what I'd like to do here is to describe uh, other ways of solving this equation. In the way we did it in class, we did the successive approximation. Our first solution was 7.5 times 10 to the minus 3. That was ignoring x. We put x back in. We got 7.21 times 10 to the minus 3. That was for x, for these iterations. Then we did it again. We got 7.23 times 10 to the minus 3. And we did it one more time, 7.23 times 10 to the minus 3. These numbers were the same, so that's what the value of x is. That's what we did in class. Now, what I want to talk about here is three more ways to solve this equation. One of the ways we already know about, that is to actually multiply this out and um, solve the quadratic equation. So let's go ahead and multiply that out. I'll do it step by step. This would be 5.63 times 10 to the minus fourth. I'm uh, taking this over here and multiplying it. So this would be 0 0.10 minus x. That is equal to x squared. We'll multiply this out. I'll do this in my head. I'll look 10 to the minus fifth. So 5.63 times 10 to the minus fifth. That's what 0.1 times that is. And this is minus 5.63 times 10 to the minus fourth times x and that's equal to x squared. And if we put it in the canonical form here, we'll have x squared plus um, 5.63 times 10 to the minus 4 um, x minus uh, 5.63 times 10 to the minus fifth. There's our quadratic equation. Now we know that we can say x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, where this is a, this is b, this is c. Divide all of this by 2a. Now we can go ahead and do that. Well, there's another way to do that. I mean, this is sort of a pain to multiply it out and so on. So let's see what uh, Google can tell us. We'll type into here, we're going to search for a uh, quadratic equation solver. All right, and here it is. There's a quadratic equation solver. Let's take that first link, and up comes um, the page. And uh, I have uh, Flash, so Flash doesn't run automatically on my computer. I have to click it uh, given that. All right, so here's a quadratic equation solver. What you do is you feed, feed in A, B, and C, and we'll give you the roots. The roots are the solutions for X to make this equal to zero. And also give you a kind of cool little graph over here. So let's go ahead and see if this works. Um, A is equal to one, so I'll just put one there. What's B equal to? B is equal to 5.63 times 7 minus fourth. So just type that in, E minus four. And let's look at C. C minus 5.63 times 10 to the minus fifth. Don't forget the minus sign. And let's um, actually, before we do that, um, we want to check. And all right, let's actually put this into our calculators, make sure that the thing we find online is correct. So this would be minus B minus 5.63 times 10 to the minus fourth, all right, minus b, plus or minus square root of b squared, which is uh, 5.63 times 10 to the minus fourth, minus four times a, which is one, times c minus 5.63, 
times 10 to the minus fifth. And this is all the square root here. Running out of space here, sorry, one half. Divided by two times a, a is one, so this would be divided by two. And we do this in our calculators, we get two roots. The first root is uh, 7.23 times 10 to the minus three in our calculators. That's the plus root, where we take that plus. The other one is minus uh, 7.79 times 10 to the minus three. That's the minus root. All right, we can reject this because this will lead to a negative concentration. So 7.23, uh, let's see, 7.23, hello, come back here. Yeah, look, 7.23 times 10 to the minus three, 7.23 times minus three. So our iterative process and solving the quadratic equation gives the correct answer. Let's see what this gives. Oh look, 7.79 and 7.23 times 10 to the minus three. All right, yeah, looks like it gives the right answer. So that's another way. If you just um, go ahead and multiply things out and stop here, you can go online, put in what A, B, and C are, and then um, it will probably give you the right answer. In fact, the answer it gives, if it makes any mistakes, although I doubt it, but if it makes any mistakes, probably uh, more like, less likely that that uh, equation solver online will make a mistake less likely than you will make a mistake, or like I made mistakes trying to get this answer. All right, so there, you go online and do it. But wait, there's another way, and that is to use um, Microsoft Excel. This is kind of cool. So let's... Uh, go up here all the way back up to here where we had our original equation here it is 5.63 times 10 minus 4th equals x squared over 0.01 minus x so let's put these things in excel this will be uh, the things on the left that do not contain x and over here are the things on the right that do contain x and the advantage of using excel is you don't have to go through any multiplication or anything all right so let's uh, put over here uh, 5.63 times uh, 10 to the minus 4. And over here, we're going to put in this value, but we need a separate cell for x. So let's uh, put up here, this will be x. Initially, let's put x equals 0. All right, so we're going to program in this equation here. So this is equal to x squared, which is right there. We're going to square that divided by, again, we're just program, programming in this equation, 0.1 minus x. So it's uh, 0.1 minus, there's x right there, parentheses. All right, so on this side of the equation, we have uh, the terms that do not contain x. On this side of the equation, we have terms that contain x or whatever. Now, what we want to do is to vary x so that the value of x we get will be equal to uh, k or this this side of the equation. Vary x so that this equation, this expression here on the right side is equal to what's on the left side. So how can we tell Excel to do that? Well there's an, um, a particular uh, function or particular thing, I guess macro in Excel, called Solver. All right. Uh, solver, if you don't find it on your version of Excel, it's not installed by default and you probably have to go to add-ins to install that. Let's look at Solver. Okay, here's the Solver dialog box. It's kind of cool. So, set target cell. Let's, okay, let's make this the target cell to a value, oh sorry, uh, let me go back. Let's make this the target cell. Set that cell equal to a value of that. Now I have to guess I have to type it in 5.63 darn e to the minus 4. By changing cells, we're going to change that cell. So what we're telling uh, Excel to do is to set uh, this cell, which contains x, to this value, 5.63. Oh, I guess I got 6.4. Let me put a 6.3 in there. 6.3. Sorry, mistyped that. 
times 10 to the minus fourth by changing the value of x, which is right up here. Okay, let's solve it. Oh, look at that. The value of x is 7.23 times 10 to the minus third. So Excel, really smart program, or at least smart programmers that wrote it, um, <clears throat> let's keep that solution, finds the value of x, which makes this expression equal to that. So there, the advantage of doing it that in Excel is that you don't have to do any multiplication. You just set up the equation and then, you know, manipulate a little bit so you just get x somewhere on just on one side of the equation. And then you tell Excel to vary that value of x so it equals the other side of the equation. Pretty cool, huh? So anyway, 7.23 times 10 to the minus 3. That's what we get. Okay, so that's uh, an advanced topic in how to solve equations. Got a few ideas there. One is, well, actually got four. One is successive iteration. Two is this quadratic equation where you plug everything into your calculator and figure it out yourself. The third is the quadratic equation where you use the online, so you don't have to use that. And fourth is to use Excel, uh, use the solver function in Excel. Hope you had some fun listening to this. See ya.